Good morning, good evening, good night, everybody. Welcome back, and hope you all are doing amazing out there. We're going to go ahead and do some tactic modes and combo challenges with the one and only Elizabeth. Now, I don't know her character at all. And with that being said, I don't know Persona at all that well. So, what I do know is... Many, the very few Persona games I played happen to be, well, I'm still technically new to the, to the series. So there's those three rhythm games I just ended up buying like not, not too long ago. And Persona 5, which was on sale for $7. And she was in like one of the rhythm games as one of the um, instructors. I guess like to guide the characters and help them out and whatnot. Oh yeah, she's pretty sick. Let's see, Crouching Bees and Vulnerability Up. Now, I already know the gist of her a little bit because me and my buddy have been playing this game a lot for <laughs> the past, like, few weeks. And, like, you know, we just happen to choose, like, characters, like, we go random, find characters we think will, you know, will fit our style. And, so far, I chose her. She's one of the few I tried, and oh my god, I'm in love with her. Not really, but like, not in love in love, but like, I like the way she plays. Because holy hell, she has an amazing anti-air move. Oh, Top of that, she got some little, her DP, like, remind, it has like a little, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh vibe. But anywho, let's see. Jumping C is basically your best friend when they're jumping. So if you see someone jumping, straight up, jump C. Perfect. You'll catch them. Alright, next up is a... The blight. Where the fuck? Did, oh, okay. Oh, this is what I was talking about. So it's a DP that basically counters. Puts him in a car and I put him in the book. I love it. Every time someone does it to me, I keep saying I activated my trap card and you're caught. All right. So next up. Ouch. Okay, next up is Standing B, Standing B, Special C, and Special Down C. Alright, so basically Elizabeth can use Special Attack 2 and 3 from Smart Combo 3. First to second hit. <laughs> special Attack 2 can throw Standing Opponent. Alright, Special Attack 3 is a low-hitting attack. Let's try it out. Alright, check it out. Four. Okay, can you not block Azrael? That'd be great. Why are you blocking? Okay. It goes. Opening my There we go. It's pretty cool. At first, when I got this game, I wasn't really favorable of the Persona characters because puppet characters in this game was not much exciting to me. But then over the course of the game I realized like, oh yeah, maybe I should give it a shot. And then like the first Persona character I was using was Shie because I love those characters that go hands up in person close to personal and she was fun. I used a little bit of Yukino. She was alright, but she didn't she felt out uh, she was just hard to get in with. Uh, let's see... Magarudin... Or Grudine. He can do the mirror too. Nice. But it was Shie, Yukino... Mmm... That's about it. Those were only two Persona characters I was using. No! Sorry. Those two characters, then over time, I got back on the game and I used... I found myself using Labyrinth a lot. Or Labyrinth a lot. And oh my god, I like it. I got B. Nice. Doing in the air. Alright, cool. So Shie, Yukino, and Labrys. And including Elizabeth were the only four Persona characters. Well, only four Persona characters that I'd be messing with in this game. Did I just do it? Yeah, she's pretty super though. I like her. Then we got the Ma Mabufu Mabufu Dine. Cool, cool. Now, how should we go about this? 
I like her character design too. It's a cute little dress. And Mara Margidine. White hair, little top hat. Well, not a top hat, but like a little hat. It has like a little book, Grimoire, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know, any Persona fans watching this, please correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. Nice. Mahamon activates when the opponent is within a range. Okay. That would be a 17 hit hang time con. I can just do whatever after that, that's amazing. If no one's playing this character, you gotta play her. Uh, let's see, now the Madu Mamadou activates when the opponent is within a certain range in the air. You can do it in the air too. That's not the one. Oh, it goes vertical. For her though. Yeah, because it's about time I started doing combo challenges with her because I put her and this other chick on the team together for a while now um, from Pla from Blaze Blue, the uh, Silicia. I don't know, it has like a... Is she, uh, her name is like, <laughs> almost like a reference to a, a Toyota. What is that? Oh my god, okay. Elizabeth enters the awakened state when her health drops below a certain level. Okay, like Yang almost. During this state, the functionality of some of her attacks will change. Now, Let's check them out. Alright, which would be the Maga. Maga Rudine Air. I get some more hits probably. Okay, nice, nice. And last longer. Nice. Yeah, she gets like a little boost. She get that Yang treatment when her health drops to a certain level. Next up is Dairahan. Recovers your health. Oh yeah, I figured that much for a while now. So pretty much you can just do this. Wait, do this. And then you do this. Perfect. Just to get them off your ass to get health. Alright, next up would be the Ghastly Whale. Ghastly Whale can throw a, a standing opponent. Oh, it's a throw. You can even throw an opponent in the air if they are in the hit stun, allowing you now to incorporate it into this? an air combo. What? You go. Wait, so you can even throw an opponent in the air. That's amazing to know. And he throws you in the casket and slices it. Amazing. Elizabeth's mind charge converts her own health gauge into a skill gauge. The gauge convert conversion stops when a health gauge reaches to an awakening level. Mm -hmm. The enhanced version leaves behind even more recovery health during the conversion process. Oh, okay. I've been wondering what it does for a while now. I thought it was, thought it was some sort of counter. It's all five. Nice. Now how should we go about this? Excellent. Go. Alright, now the best one. Let's see. The ah motherfucker. Oh no. Her astral is a freaking counter? Okay. That's that's a first. Okay, it's a little difficult. And she runs funny. Uh -huh. She's probably the first person I've seen in this game that has a counter that in cooperates with the astral thing. Alright, come at me. Ouchie. 
What are you up to? Nine, 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 nine. Okay, nice. Yeah, I like her astral. It's pretty nice. Velvet, oh velvet. Like I said, I don't know a whole lot about Persona, but... I remember we listening to my music on my Spotify in my car once, and then they, they, one of the recommended songs was called the Velvet Garden, Velvet Garden album. And oh my god, that album is clean. I love it. Now, I can tell it's probably from one of the Persona this? games. Okay, so starting off, combo challenges. Combo number one, it starts with a standing A, standing A, standing A, 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 crouching C, and then a back... Oh, a down back A. Okay. Alright, nice, nice. Alright, combo number two is starts with a jumping A and then standing A, 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 standing B, B, and then the ghastly whale. Now how should we go about okay, this? What do you think? Prepare to live here I go. Hold on, what? My attack. Persona. Extra drill. Prepare yourself. Nice. That's it. Go. <clears throat> Combo challenge number three. It starts with the crouching B, jump A, A. Oh, I can do this. Too pretty prepared to lose. Too pretty enjoying yourself. What up enjoying yourself? Almost had me. Hmm. What up Maya persona? That's Shall it. I like her um, crouching B because everyone else in this game has a crouching B that has like a head invulnerability, head attribute. So basically any air. But hers is like... I don't know, you have like a little certain feel about it that makes it more satisfying. Okay, that was freaky. Either way, okay. So, combo number four. Forward, B, C. Standing A. Standing A, B, 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 K, and down forward B. Okay. Now how should we go? The verdict is in. How charm. What do you think? Opening my deck. Okay, I gotta go faster. The verdict is in. How charm. Nice. Okay, combo number five. Start with the standing A and then all of that. Alright, let's see. Wait. I see you, girl. Let's see. Maybe... I don't got you. Can I see a demonstration, please? What do you think? It's like he's falling even before. There we go. Okay. Next. Oh, this involves a renaissance. Okay. So, combo number six. May I see a demonstration, please? Did 
All right, nice, nice. Let's right, give it a shot. One try. Fuck. Okay, never mind. I can get this. I can definitely get this. That was Elizabeth from Persona 5 Arena. Or, sorry, Persona 4 Arena. Next up, we're going to go ahead and move on to that one chick. Forgot her name, but her name references a Toyota, I swear to God. Or rather, Toyota or some type of car. Alright, thank you for watching.